we were together in a small classroom in Apple Valley. And you saw these kids at computers. And they were talking about a, a program system for learning for themselves. And you said, what is this? And thereby you said, how could we help these people? That led to a connection between NASA and this science center. Rick and I taught at Mojave Mesa Elementary School in the early days before any of this. We just connected because we had the same idea of how kids should be educated, how they learn, tactile learning. And I said, semi kids who are tactile kinesthetic, kids who learn by doing. All those kids that we seemed to reject, that were the ones that were the catalysts for a change that made all the difference. Rick had a vision. Yep. He had a vision. He sold that vision to the community, and ultimately the school district, the school board, and the entire community got on to that vision. He had this grand plan that he was going to build a science center and change the way we introduce children and students to science and technology. You, you would just say, oh, uh, let's get a jet flight simulator. <laughs> what? <laughs> How in the world did you get a flight simulator? Well, I picked up the phone and called the Pentagon. What do you think, Dorothy? We're talking about kindergartners, you know, five-year-olds all the way up through high school. And, and we said, if we could control that antenna from the classroom on a computer, no simulations. We want real science. We want the kids to actually collect the data. The whole idea was there wasn't nothing we couldn't do. All the different programs from tortoises to fish to film to <laughs> gabber to kids, yes. just everything. Without Congressman Lewis, there would not be a good singer either. And that's why this place was named after him.